Today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the command line client or the command line interface in MySQL. So I'm going to show you some basic commands you can use with it and, and uh, this will help you uh, if you need to find out if you're connecting to a, a MySQL server for the first time. It will help you uh, figure out what databases are there and what tables and what fields. Uh, it will also help you even if you're, you've done your own uh, databases and you just need to know what field names are in a table and such. And it will also help you uh, to be able to list some of the records. So some very basic commands here. Uh, in other videos, I may go in more into uh, different SQL commands, uh, but this is just really a basic uh, thing to use command line interface in MySQL. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click here on the uh, window in the corner and we're going to go into the search and we're going to start to type MySQL. And you'll see as you start to type MySQL, it will eventually come up with MySQL, a version number, uh, command line, client. So we're going to click on this and right here by default, it's going to, using this command line, it's going to go into root and so it's asking you the password to root. So I'm going to type uh, the password and I hit enter and it brings up some basic information and it brings us up to the command line. Now, the first thing that we want to do once we're in the command line is find out what databases are on the server. So let's go show databases and put a semicolon and we're going to hit enter. And um, so that lists all of the databases that that we have here. The fourth from the bottom is Sequila and the bottom one is World and those are the example databases when you install MySQL. If you installed the uh, kind of the full version of MySQL it should automatically have installed those. If you did a custom install you would have to go down and specify install you know, database examples, you can always go back and, and reinstall that part of my SQL if you want to. Uh, these commands will work with any database. So if you're using your own database and fields or examples, just, just, just substitute the database names and the field names on your database with the ones that I'm about to show you. Show you. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and type use. Sequila, and we're going to put a semicolon, and that's going to tell it that we want to use that particular database. So if we hit enter, it says database change. So we're now um, using the Sequila database. So it knows when we're typing commands that we're referring to that database because we're using it. So we want to know what tables are in Sequila. So we're going to type show. Uh, tables. We need to put a semicolon here, but if we forget to put the semicolon on a command that needs a semicolon, it will put this little arrow up and it gives us another chance to put the semicolon in there and then it will list it. Uh, it gets kind of hard to get used to putting a semicolon, uh, for some people at least, at the end of, of a thing and it's easy to forget it. So if you do, it's not a big deal. It will just wait for you to uh, add the semicolon. And it also sometimes assumes if you're doing a, an SQL query, if you don't put the semicolon, it just assumes, oh, well, you, he, you're going to add more or another line. You've just split up the line. And so the semicolon says, this is the end of the command. Process it, basically. So in the tables, the top table is actor. And so that's the, that's the uh, table we're going to use for this example. And so we're going to use the command select, which is an SQL command. Uh, which you can use in the command line, you can use it in a GUI interface, and you can use it if you're programming a web page or another interface. By convention, you capitalize the commands in SQL and everything else is uh, lowercase unless it's data and, and you you want a mixture of uppercase and lowercase. Uh, but basically, the command line is not case sensitive. Uh, so you don't have to put the command uppercase, but it just makes it easier to read when you're going back uh, and it's the convention. So I'm going to put a star or an asterisk here, which says um, select all. And what we're telling it to select is the column names. So then we're going to put the word from and we're going to tell it what table we want to see the column names or the columns from. And it's going to be actor in this case. So we're going to hit enter and I forgot the semicolon. Not a big deal. We add it. All right, so now I can scroll back up on this because it listed everything that's in that table, all the data in the table. And you can see right here uh, at the top, it lists the field name is. So we're going to scroll back down to where the command line is. We're going to do another command 
and this command select we're going to select all columns again so we want to do um, the uh, star or the asterisk from actor this time we don't want to show all the records so we're going to use the word or the command where and uh, we're going to go first name and that's the column name is equal to and we're going to use single quotes and we're going to use the name morgan and then a semicolon and hit enter and you see it brings up all the people whose name are morgan and it, put, it gives us all the columns well let's say we just wanted the last name column we can go select but instead of putting the star there what we're going to do is we're going to go uh last name which is the name of one of the columns and we're going to put from actor then we're going to put where first name equals morgan semicolon and hit enter and it just gives us the last name column now we can go back once again and this time we're going to go first name and say we want the first and the last name column we put a comma after first name and we're going to put last name and say we had a, a dozen columns in our database we could put as many of the columns in here individual columns as we wanted in whatever order that we wanted and uh, we don't actually need a comma after the very last one because we're going to go put from actor So, so we want to see first name and last name from actor where the first name is Morgan. We hit enter and it gives us a table with the two columns, the first name and the last name. Now here's another kind of pro tip, if you will. Uh, and this works with most command line interfaces. If we hit the up arrow, it will go back to all of the um, different commands that we've run and we can scroll back by using the down arrow. So by using the up and the down arrow, we can scroll through whatever commands we use and we can go back. And so instead of retyping this entire command, say I want to just change this last part and we want to find out all the records with somebody whose first name is John. So that saves some time uh, uh, when you're doing that uh, when you're doing commands and you're changing like just one thing or the last part of it, you can go back to the command and re-edit the command. It makes it a little bit faster. Um, another thing that we can do uh, is uh, we can use question mark, which gives us the commands. It doesn't give us the SQL commands. It gives us the server commands, basically. So, so these are s commands specific to to MySQL, but some of them may work on other servers. Uh, and uh, so the question mark will give us uh, different things. So for, for example, on here, um, one of the uh, commands is status. And so if we type status in, it will give us the server status and it tells us what our current database is at the top, who the current user is. And if you look down towards the second to the last line, it tells us how many hours of uptime we've had on the server. Um, so that gives us information on the server itself. So that's how you use uh, the, the command line interface in MySQL. And, and also, I've given you some useful uh, basic commands so that you can figure out or view what the databases are on your server, what tables are within the databases, what fields are within the databases, and uh, to be able to view um, actual records, some basic commands to view records. Uh, so we basically learned uh, most of the select command in uh, in SQL.